let's just get started. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of the Bootleg Pit Stop the Nellyville. Go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, all that, share the little video, honey. So this week was a great, so this is probably the best episode that we have seen so far of this season of Drag Race. Lip Sync La La Ro, oh, Jesus. The Lip Sync La La Perusa Smackdown. I don't know why that was so hard to get out, but baby, we got it out. Before I even go over the, the pairings and, and the lip sync battles, I, I think I'm gonna head I think I'm going to go ahead and call the winner of season 15. And the winner is of season 15, the next drag race superstar. I think it's gonna be Mistress. Obviously, we still have a lot to go in this season. And I'll change my answer accordingly. But I think I'm going to go ahead and predict the future and say that Mistress Isabel Brooks is going to be the next winner of Drag Race. First up, we had Marsha and Malaysia. So Malaysia's ball was picked, which meant Malaysia got to pick her partner. Malaysia got really cute and thought, oh, I'm gonna pick Marsha. She ain't gonna know how to lip sync, which I don't know why. Like, Malaysia, why would you think that Marsha would know how to lip sync and do a good job when literally in the talent show, she, was a, she, she did a full ballet performance? But I don't think she only wanted an easy target. I think that Malaysia wanted to continue on beating up on Marsha. Because remember a couple weeks ago when they were in Untucked, Malaysia was doing all of this. She done bit Marsha's head off. And then she was doing all of this about Mistress. But then Mistress was like, what's good, Miley? What's good? Flashback Nicki Minaj VMAs. All of a sudden, Malaysia was like... I don't have nothing to say. And here we are on the lip sync battles where you was really big and bad, you know, cause she even said in her little talking head and the, you know how they do the cutaways. Malaysia was like, well, I'm sure everybody would like to see me battle against mistress, but I'm gonna go for Marsha. So she picked Marsha and of course, Marsha dance circles around Malaysia. And Malaysia was like, shoot, let me try to get this ham hock up in the air. And that ham hock came five inches off the ground and she was sitting there looking bald headed and crazy. So needless to say, Marsha won that battle. The second pairing, oh, by the way, so the way they did it was they picked a ball with the girl's name. That girl whose name got picked gets to pick their opponent. And then the opponent got to pick the song. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay. So the second pairing, Lucy and Spice, I believe Lucy's name was picked and Lucy picked Spice to lip sync against too, which like I get it. Like who wants to go through two and three rounds of lip sync and go after the easy target, baby, be safe. You know what I'm saying? Lucy ended up winning this battle. Spice did, Spice did good. She was, she looked cute. Um, for the most part, everybody pretty much looked cute. It was more about comfort than it was fashion, but no one came out looking hideous. They looked like they were about to lip sync. Lucy won, but like she didn't like blow Spice out of the water, but you couldn't tell Lucy that. Lucy was like, yeah, I whooped her up. Like, eh, eh, eh. I'm like, Lucy, calm down. Ugh. If if, de if delusion was a doll, that doll was LaDuca. You know what I'm saying? The third pairing for round one, we had Selena Estetis and Lux Noir London. They lip synced to that song, uh, it's, all, it's All Coming Back to Me Now by Celine Dion. And with that song, you could go really camp, really comedy, or you could obviously take it in a more serious or more dramatic approach. Lux went more of a, a dramatic, feeling the, the, the emotion of the song. Selena went the comedy camp route. So before the song started, Selena in her little confessionals was like, oh baby, I perform this song every week, multiple times a week. Like, and they both to me did really good, but man, Selena was so funny. But girl, you wanna talk about somebody being hot. Lux, when Lux realized she lost this lip sync, when they called Selena's name and told her that she was safe, oh, Lux, talk about somebody being fish grease. The, my favorite part was that at the end when they told Lux that she could go back and wait for round two, 
man, the whip around. You know how somebody's mad and they turn around and they go, <laughs> that was a bad decision. You know how somebody do that and they whip their hair around? Girl, she whipped that little uh, 22 inch wig around. I was like, girl, you better control that attitude. You better just go ahead and prepare for round two. That brings us to the fourth matchup where we had Mistress and Jax. For one, Jax was just in the bottom last week and was in the bottom, what was it, two weeks in a row? So we have already become very familiar with Jax lip syncing, what stunts she's gonna pull, what moves she's gonna do. When you think of a drag performance, it is Mistress. Um, but Mistress, she wasn't doing all that extra. She was giving you what you want. Mistress went on, but here is the gag read, honey. When the girls who win, they get to go wait in the back. They're sipping their cocktails and they're watching the other girls perform on the screen and in the back backstage, right? So you had Marsha, Lucy and Selena, they were already back there sipping their little cocktails, what, right? And when Mistress goes back there, of course, she's excited because she just won. She's like, yeah, y'all, I'm trying to win this team. What's up? Woo! Yeah, let me get my cocktail. The gaggery of what the other girls who already won, they their face was so toe up from the flow up. How did Mistress... Which I didn't understand why they were so shocked that Mistress won. I don't know if maybe they saw parts of the lip sync that we didn't see. They weren't even trying to hide it. They looked Mistress in the face was like, oh, we thought Jax was going to win. We didn't, we didn't expect you. So Mistress was like, yeah, she was like, I, you know, her confession, she was like, yeah, I was excited. But when I saw the energy that they was giving, I decided, okay, I'm going to read y'all too. These girls are scared. They are scared of Mistress. <laughs> Last pairing of round one. This is a smackdown. You have Sasha Colby and Anitra. They're last because nobody wanted to pick them. Nature and Sasha, they go head to head. And then of course, of course, they had it where Sasha won, which it was a very close race. To have Anitra be able to keep up with Sasha, who has been in the, to even be able to keep up, that says a lot about Anitra, which to me though, I feel like it should have been a double save we go on to round two. So the first pairing that we had together for round two was Malaysia and Spice. So poor little Spice, she's still out there busting out her same little moves, badly hanging on. Of course, Malaysia won and Spice got to pick the song and Spice is like, oh, I'm gonna pick a song that I know Malaysia won't know the words to. And then they start lip syncing and then neither one of them really knew the words. Then you had a three-way battle. You had Lux, Anitra, and Jax. And thank God Lux won this battle because I don't think she could have handled another loss. So that still leaves three people for round three. You had Anitra, you had Jax, and you had Spice. So of course RuPaul's got to throw in a little twist because he's not going to have three people lip sync again. Oh no, that would be too easy. They pick the ball. The ball says Anitra. And RuPaul goes, so... There is a twist. Anitra, you get to pick your opponent and you get to save the other girl. Who do you want to save? Who do you want to lip sync against? Damn, the girl that already had to lip sync twice. She done lost to Sasha Colby and she's got to lip sync again. And then you, I got to decide who's going to, who, who am I going to save? I hope Anitra got three cocktails that day. Nitra ended up choosing to save Spice. I wonder if this was planned all along or if this was some last minute trickery that RuPaul pulled to make sure that Spice would not go home because I think that RuPaul really has a soft spot for Spice but that's just I, that's just conjuncture. I have no reason to actually believe that. So Nitra was like Dude, if I pick Spice to lip sync against, like, that's just me. And I know that I can stand my ground against Jax. So, of course, Anitra won, and Jax had to sashay away. Jax, uh, you know, good luck to you, honey. Be well. 
love to see you. you you got you got some great talent i'm sure you're gonna go on to be wonderful they did the behind the scenes and after all of the girls had lip sync and they are all back there together lux was still very mad by the end of the episode she wasn't even talking she wasn't even sitting up straight she was slumped down in that couch lucy laduca was going on you couldn't tell her nothing um spice was like i just knew i was going home spice was actually very grateful to have been saved. They all opened up about who they thought was their biggest competition and why. And then they spent a lot of time lifting each other up. And that was that was really nice to see. Malaysia made a point to say, and for anyone who didn't get named to be anyone's biggest competition, do not take it personal because we are all great queens and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like she said that because Lux was sitting there looking even more mad because I don't think Unless I miss it, I don't think anybody named Lux as their biggest competition. Which, baby, you y'all better look out because I just like how I said, Mistress is going to be the winner. I could see a world where Lux rises up and wins the crown. Lux is very young, and Lux responded in a way that a young person responds. You know, you want to win. You're competitive. You're upset. You thought that you did great. How did I not win? And next week. Her attitude, that's what's going to determine how far she's going to go. I hope that she doesn't stay in her head. I hope that she's able to get out. Because if she can't get past that a loss, you, you're good. I hope that um, she'll be able to go back to the Lux that we know. Next week is the 200th episode ever of Drag Race. We get into the creme de la creme. And um, she made, made the best drag queen win. Give me... Yeah. <laughs>